Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the latest interview questions from the name of the company that you're seeing on the screen. Let us thank a subscriber who has shared us this question so that it can be of help to others who are preparing. So I encourage all of you to share your questions and experiences so that you know it can help others who are preparing. Now let us get started without wasting much time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So user ID is one of the you know largest uh, you know what you call user base uh, of uh, Tableau. So the interviews of these companies are a little complicated. So you need to prepare thoroughly whenever you are going to for, to attend interviews for such companies. So this is, uh, I've seen, you know, so far one of the uh, easiest questions that I have asked in the recent times. So of the five to six interviews that I have observed in the last uh, instances, they were a little complicated, but luckily this user has got, you know, something easier, I would say. So first thing is tell me about your current project. So I think in this, like I said, in my previous video, you can follow a star method. Okay. Which is where, which will be very helpful. Trust me guys, you know, you can follow this. Okay. I generally implement this whenever I am you know, trying to speak in my, you know, a project explanation and all it gives a sense of confidence it gives a sense of understanding on what we have done okay so i'll be pasting the link of this video in the description you can go and check it out okay so next is how do you get a data in your project this was the second question so here in this case we can talk about the etl pipeline that we have like you know who is you know what is the structure you know what are your base tables how are you pulling the data how are you loading uh, the data from your base tables to final tables okay so if you are able to explain this journey trust me you are in a very better state compared to others okay next is again what is cascading filter now let me know how many of you know this cascading filter okay it is pretty 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 straightforward okay so cascading filter mostly deals with the drop down of the filter okay not the filter value because when you have multiple filters in place like you have assume you have a state filter and you have a city filter now based on the city that uh, sorry based on the state that i'm selecting i want my cities to be populated right where in the drop down so that I can use a cascading filter to fix that. Okay, it is very, very, very important. So mostly we will see this in, you know, online filling applications, your address boxes, and also this place a very critical, red, a critical, uh, you know, important thing. So whenever you have multiple filters in place, ensure they are showing only relevant values. It is very, very important. So we need to take care whenever we have multiple values in tableau we need to ensure our filters are only showing relevant values okay so again this is the uh, cascading filter now again next important question is what is the filter order of execution now i leave this question to you guys let me you know comment your answer in the comment section over answers the first right answer will get pinned in the pinned in the comment section okay let me see here so one of these basic and most repeated question in filters okay so how to get a top five and bottom five states in same view again here the expectation is see we we all will tell we can do it using set right okay fine what are the different approaches you can do we can do using rank you know we can do using indexes and all so you have to be ready to answer this in all of these types okay so i uh, we have solved this multiple times in our video so i'm not solving it again again difference between rank and index okay so here you can elaborate this by you know speaking about a different uh, types of ranks available okay so we have a denser rank we have unique rank we have modified rank we have a percentile rank okay so we can or we can we also have a normal rank okay so we can talk about all of these ranks so rank generally is 
uh, what do you call a number generated based on the measure that you are specifying on the order you are specifying whereas index is a simply a row number that will get generated okay so your index or row number might not change based on the sorting order but your rank will change irrespective of your sorting order okay it will give you the correct number based on the measure value we have now how do you so you can talk about this you can give syntaxes for this it will help the interviewer in gaining confidence now how do you navigate from one dashboard to other again i think we have solved this in our previous videos okay we can use actions using that we can navigate from one dashboard to another dashboard now coming to sql i think there were five to six questions that were asked first is what is difference between delete and truncate now this is again the most confusing question for many delete means what it will delete row by row so we need to uh, not tell at least three differences okay Re delete will delete row by row because we have to specify the condition delete from table name where column name is equal to condition now here in this delete statement if you see we are specifying the condition so this will get executed row by row okay you have to use a where clause in delete statement and this is a slow because it is at a row level so these three points try to remember it so whenever you get this question next time i want you to answer these three points for sure okay so it is done at a row level we need to specify a condition using where and it is slow whereas a truncate will remove all rows from the table okay you cannot specify a where condition faster because it is at a table level simple okay the opposite of delete is a truncate but again there was another question like say if obviously syntax was added so we have written the syntax as here now what will happen when you drop a table so trust me when you get a delete you might get a question related to truncate when you get delete and truncate trust me the next question will always be related to a drop statement so truncate will only remove the data but it will not drop the table structure whereas a drop table will drop the data and will it will also drop the structure that is the difference that you need to remember okay so permanently deletes a table along with all its data this is drop whereas truncate will only delete the data while retaining the structure so remember these two important points okay it is very very important for us to remember this okay so we spoke we spoke about delete we spoke about truncate and we spoke about drop these three are one of the most repeated questions again top second salary for each department here we have done it using a row number but these days interviewer is asking us to execute in different ways so i would suggest you to learn at least two to three ways where you can do this okay like say without using this rank or without using this row number what is the other way that you can do okay so try to solve that and you can comment in the comment section if you know the answer okay i have just given you one of the basic ways or one of the most you know asked ways using row number and partition but if you know the other way you can definitely give it in the comment section okay so what is a cartesian join again cartesian join is also known as a cross join that returns a cartesian product of two tables like say there are you no know, there is a uh, two rows and again in second uh, uh, table you have three so total six records you will get so it's kind of multiplication of two tables okay so that is a cartesian join so these were the questions that were asked okay uh, i think and these are all, only list of some questions that were asked okay so he did not remember all the questions so he has shared few i hope this video has helped you if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day